In this video, we explain what DFDL is, why it can be useful, and show you how you can get started using DFDL with IBM Integration Bus. But first, let's start with a business problem. How can I parse my text and binary data so that I can integrate it with another computer system? If your data is XML, then parsing it is not a problem. There are plenty of XML parsers around, and there is also XML Schema, a language for describing the structure of your XML data. This is useful if you need to validate that the data is correct. JSON is similar. There are JSON parsers available, and also JSON Schema to describe the structure. But what if your data is not XML or JSON? Perhaps it is a custom text format, like the pipe delimited example here, or binary data emitted by a C program or a COBOL program. Perhaps it is non-XML industry standards such as X12, Edifact, ISO 8583 or Swift. In the past, with data formats like these, you needed to write or purchase a custom parser to understand the data. Historically, there has been no universal standard for modelling these types of data. There are some standards in this area, but they are too prescriptive. They dictate that your data must be in a specific format. But what if you already have the data and it isn't in one of these prescribed formats? So what is DFDL and how can it help? DFDL stands for Data Format Description Language. DFDL is a powerful modeling language from the Open Grid Forum. DFDL is not a data format and it does not dictate how your data must be formatted. Instead, it is a language for describing many different kinds of data format. DFDL is suitable for describing text, binary and bitstream formats, commercial record-oriented formats, scientific and numeric formats, modern and legacy data formats, and even industry standard formats, all in a way that is independent of the data format itself. When data has been modelled, the data can be parsed by a DFDL processor, such as the open source Daffodil Parser, or the IBM DFDL processor that is available in IBM products such as IBM Integration Bus. So taking our example of pipe delimited data format, you can create a DFDL schema that fully describes the pipe delimited text data and then use this with any DFDL processor. The DFDL processor uses the DFDL schema to parse the data and creates the required data structure so that the data can be processed by a computer program. You can process fixed length text data in the same way. You create a DFDL schema that fully describes the fixed length text and then use the same DFDL processor to parse the data. Note that the DFDL processor must have a DFDL schema in order to understand the data. It's the schema that describes the data format. The DFDL processor can also take the result data and, using the schema, recreate the original data format. In DFDL terms, this is called unparsing or serializing. A common use case for DFDL is to take a text or binary format emitted by a legacy application and use DFDL to parse it so it can be converted to XML for use with a web service. Then take the web service reply and using DFDL again, convert it back to the text or binary format for sending back to the legacy application. So what other data formats can you model with DFDL? You can use DFDL to model a number of industry formats, such as financial data formats, healthcare data formats,
retail and commercial data formats, and a range of others, whether standard or custom data formats. So if you have a text or binary data format that you need to understand, whether you have a specification of the data format or actual wire examples of the data, you can probably use DFDL to model and parse it. There are some occasions when using DFDL is not appropriate. DFDL is not recommended to model XML or JSON, as these formats already have readily available parsers and their own schemas. DFDL is also not recommended to model serialization formats like HDF5 or GPB, Google Protocol Buffers, where the actual wire format of the data is never exposed to the consumer and the data is accessed only by using APIs. You can use DFDL with an enterprise service bus like IBM Integration Bus to integrate your data with other systems. For example, here you can see four applications that all use different data formats. The applications are able to share information by using XML, JSON and DFDL parsers. The Enterprise Service Bus manages the transformation and the communication of data between the applications. Let's see how you would use the DFDL editor in IBM Integration Bus to transform some CSV data into XML for consumption by a web service, for example. Here we have a file with three records. In the IBM Integration Studio, we create a DFDL schema using the new message model wizard. There are a number of formats to choose from, or you can define your own. In this case, we choose CSV text. Because our example is very simple, we can use the wizard to guide us through the required steps. First, we give our DFDL schema a name. We enter the number of fields in each record. Our records have four fields. The fields are given default names, but we can change these to assign suitable names that describe the data. Also, the fields are given a default data type of string, but we can change that too if we want. Our first and second fields are strings, but our third field is a date field, and our fourth field is a decimal number. Once we have our DFDL schema, we can use it to parse our data. We select the file that we want to process and then we see the parsed data. We can view the data in a tree view or an XML view. Now our data is ready to be consumed by a web service or other application that expects XML formatted data. If we had received this data from a web service, we could use the same schema to serialize the data into our CSV format. Here we can see the data has been serialized back into its original CSV format. This is what the DFDL schema for our CSV message looks like. A DFDL schema is actually an XML schema with additional annotations that describe the physical format of the data. We'll talk more about these DFDL annotations in later videos in this series.